On your mark. Get set. Go! Throw those over there. These two teams hate me since the pieces as they try trapping mini mice in our goofy traps. Whichever team traps them first will snap into the lead with 20 bucks. And they've got control of the show that never Mickey Mouse is around. It's Super Sloppy Double Dare. And now, here's your Super Sloppy Double Dare host, Pixie and Dixie Summers. Dixie, gee, Dixie, welcome to Super Sloppy Double Dare. This is the show where we run through a crazy obstacle course and in the process win eight fabulous prizes. My mom wanted me to be a doctor and I have a rat nose on my face. Look at that. Is that good? You like that? Anyway, uh, let's carry on and talk here. You know, we do that opening challenge. Sometimes it takes a week and a half. They throw the first rats and they get it on. They call themselves Galaxy One. Say hello to Kristen and Seneca. <laughs> Hi, Kristen. How are you feeling today? Good. Good. How long have you been playing the violin? Um, three years. What made you decide to play violin? Well, our violin teacher just came to the room, and I thought it might be nice to just try it. I don't... Well, by now, I'm sure you're good, but when you first start off, it sounds like cats fighting with each other, doesn't well, it? Well, my mom would always go next door. <laughs> <laughs> Who's to comment is there, Mom? And Seneca reads a lot. What do you like to read? Well, mainly I like to read mysteries. That's fun. All right, you got twenty dollars, and a team to my left that wants to win a lot of money as well. They call themselves the Messy Maniacs, David and Tricia. <laughs> David says you hope to be a pilot, huh? Yeah, I always like to fly, and I was wondering how a plane um, really flies. Where have you flown before? At Disney World, uh, Bahamas. I was flying home from uh, I was either Washington or North Carolina a couple weeks ago, and I got to sit in the cockpit of a hmm. 767. It was so exciting, I must tell you. And Trisha wants to be an oceanographer, which is a great job. What made you decide to think a uh, uh, job in that direction? Well, I always wanted to study sea animals. Have you ever been skin diving? No. <laughs> yeah, it's a little scary. All right, you've got a uh, chance to win a lot of money today. And uh, before we do that, we always have to talk about the rules here on Super Sloppy Double Dare. And they go something like this. I'm going to ask you a question, and if you don't know the answer or think the other team doesn't have a clue, you can dare them to answer it for double the dollars. But be careful, because they can always double dare you back for four times the amount, and then you would either have to answer that question or take the physical challenge. Good luck to David and Tricia. Kristen and Seneca have this $10 question. What two actors play twins in the movie Twins? You bring it to 30, or you could dare them. Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Very good. You have another $10. Up to 30 now. I'd like to know in a race, what color ribbon do you get for winning third place? Red. Red is incorrect. It's white. Red is usually second place. No dare at stake. No money changing place. But Dave and Tricia, the messy maniacs, can put some money on the board. What detective in children's literature, too bad you didn't get this, Seneca, uh, has an arch enemy named Bugs Meanie? Or you could dare them. Dare. Now worth $20. What detective in children's literature has an arch enemy named Bugs Meanie? Or you can double dare him back. Double dare. Oh, and now worth 40, or you can take a physical challenge. Physical challenge. Encyclopedia Brown. And we have a $40 physical challenge over here for David and Tricia. And we are here in Philadelphia. You're noticing what's going on over there. Now, do you like basketball at all? Yeah. How about you? Yeah. Oh, and uh, do you prefer to play, or do you prefer to watch it? Um, play. How about you? Oh, no, but we need a, a spectator, somebody to cheer the other person on. Who would like to cheer their friend on? You would, oh, good. Why don't you just have a seat over there? And Robin is going to give you a pennant to make sure that you really are cheering at all times because what you have to do is reach down into this Gackfield uh, container and take these balls and throw them up in the hoop. And you must get three in the hoop in 20 seconds or less. Now, they will fall down on you and they will get you messy, but then this is super sloppy double there. Okay, $40 at stake. Good luck. On your mark, get set, go! Welcome back to uh, Super Sloppy Double Dare. I'm a grown-up. 
Uh, gee, David made some great baskets over there, and uh, one was extremely lucky. And the important thing is you have the $40, and the Messy Maniacs have control of this $10 question. If composer Giuseppe Verdi's name were translated into English, what would his name be? Would it be Joe Green, Gus Forrest, or Sonny Bono? Sonny Bono? No, it would be Joe Green, as a matter of fact, but uh, that means no dare was at stake and no money changing place. Kristen and Seneca, you can tie the game. The old Stanley Steamer cars ran on what power? Steam? Yeah, isn't that amazing? Yes, we have a tie score of 40 to 40 right now. And Galaxy 1 could take the lead on this question. And Giuseppe Verdi also managed the Yankees. Okay. Minnesota's twin cities are St. Paul and what other city? Dare. Okay, now worth 20. Minnesota's twin cities, St. Paul and what other city? Double Dare. Now worth $40, or are we going to take a physical challenge? Physical challenge. Uh, Minneapolis would be the other one. We have a $40 physical challenge right over here. <laughs> In honor of Dana, what's more, you know, uh, one of my favorite movies, and I'm sure one of yours, happens to be The Wizard of Oz. You ever watch that movie? Yeah. Oh, good. I'm so glad. How about you? Yes. Well, let's see. You would be a perfect Dorothy, so you come over here, and you look like you could be the scarecrow, you could be the lion, you could be the tin man. We're going to make you all those things, but before you become Dorothy, you have to become the Wicked Witch of the West, okay? Uh -huh. All right. Now, over here, if you could step back this way, let me show you what you're going to do. Over there, we have him dressed up as the tin man, as the scarecrow, and as the lion. When I say go, you go over there and you take some of this flea powder and you come all the way over here and you sprinkle it on top of his head, okay? Because we don't want the lion to have fleas. Then we have some straw, which is really noodles, and we want you to just take this and dump it into his coat and then come back over here, okay? And then his job will be to get rid of the Wicked Witch. So you stand right over here and after all those things are dumped on him, you pick up that bucket of water and you pour it on your friend. Well, actually, you don't pour it. You heave it on so she'll melt, okay? But I notice we have flea powder and we also have spaghetti to put in as straw, but we don't have any oil for the tin man. So let me come up here. There must be somebody up here who wants to get in a physical challenge, isn't there? There usually is some person. You, no, I, I, you're going to get messy. Who wants to get messy? Anybody? <laughs> you do? What's your name? Melissa. Come on, Melissa. Come with me. Yeah, well, we can't get everybody up here. We'll do the best we can. Now, Melissa, how old are you? Ten. Ten years old. you got great dimples. Look at those dimples. That's incredible. Your job will be to stand over here, and when I say go, you have to pump this, because what will happen is the oil will come out and come all over the Tin Man and get him all sort of gacked up there, all right? So when I say go, that's your job. If you do it correctly, we'll give you a Double Dare t-shirt. If you do all this in 20 seconds or less, we're going to give you 40 additional dollars. On your mark, get set, go! Get it <laughs> the bucket he was supposed to throw the water the important thing is that they got the physical challenge and over here for this young lady we have a super sloppy double t t-shirt thank you very much head back in that direction whoa that got to be a dangerous stunt there in a minute you see we're supposed to throw water not buckets but in the meantime forty dollars was added and Kristen and Seneca are having the time of their lives over there how are you Kristen all right uh Oh, good. I'm so glad to hear it. And uh, Seneca, you, you don't know your own strength there, do you? <laughs> okay. No. Here we go. We have another $10 question for you. What food company's mascot is called a doughboy? Dough Pillsbury. Pillsbury. Yeah, you're right. Add another 10. You now have 90. $50 lead for Galaxy One. In the Broadway play Metamorphoses, dancer Mikhail Baryshnikov plays the part of what? A cockroach, a butterfly, or a couch potato? Butterfly? No, it's a cockroach, but no deer at stake, no money changing uh, place. Control back to Tricia and David, the messy maniacs. In what state are East Carolina and Western Carolina universities located? Would we'll bring you to 50. Well, you could dare them. North Carolina? North Carolina is right. You now have $50. Pretty much a 50 50 shot. Did you guess on that? Got it right. That's the important thing. Orkpe Igpe is the pig Latin name for what cartoon character? Porky Pig. You're right, up to 60 now. $30 separating our two teams. Tell me, David and Tricia, in what state will you find the Petrified Forest, the Painted Desert, and the London Bridge? Well, you could dare them. Dare. Okay, now. Oh, it's Arizona. And uh, that sound means it's the end of round one with $90. We've got what you want to do. $60 over here for the Missing Lady. We're going to come back with a $40 toss-up.
Two here on Super Sloppy Double Dare. That means all the dollar values will be doubled in when you hear this sound. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Are we keeping you up over there? Uh, that means all the dollar values will be doubled. Going for $40 to control around two. Trying to sink the boats. Uh, if you turn the crank, the water will come up through that spout and your partner will try and drown the boats. There are five on each side. The first one to drown three boats and sink them thoroughly will get control of round two and that $40. Good luck. On your mark. Get set. Go. Get it going. See if you can sink the boats. can stop and let's move over here and play some more super sloppy double there okay we have 130 dollars now for the blue team and they have a 70 dollar lead keep in mind in this round 20 40 and then 80 on a double dare okay Kristen and seneca for 20 dollars according to people magazine's 10th annual readers poll which woman had the best body was it Cher, raquel welsh or roseanne barr or you could dare them Dare. Now worth $40. Uh, Cher, Raquel Welsh, or Roseanne Barr, according to people? Cher. Cher is right at $40. Real horse race today here on Super Sloppy Double Dare. Tell me, David and Tricia, what Marvel comic superhero walks up walls and shoots webs? Spider Man. Have 120 now. And the Messy Maniacs could take the lead on this next question. On a telephone, what number corresponds with the letters A, B, C? One. One is incorrect. One has no numbers. It's two. No dare at stake. No money changing place. Control back to Galaxy One. Where would you find the oval window? In your ear, on the edge of the Milky Way, or in a jar of Ovaltine? In your ear? In your ear, too. Yes, $150 for you. <laughs> Good job, Kristen. Seneca. In what Bill Murray movie is a golf course destroyed by a gopher? Bring you to 170, or you could dare them. Dare. dare. Now it's worth 40. Would bring you to 160. Caddyshack. Caddyshack is right, and you have 160 dollars. And the Messy Maniacs have taken a 10 dollar lead, coming from behind. Tell me, in what country does Big Ben tell time? London, England. Yes, you are right. You've got it. You now have 180 and a 30 dollar lead. What's the world's largest desert? would bring you to $200, or you could dare them. Dare. Now worth 40. Sahara. Sahara is right, 190. And now the lead has switched again. Galaxy One has it by $10. In spy lingo, shoe is a nickname for what? A walkie-talkie, a false passport, or a telephone, or you could dare them. Dare. Okay, it's worth 40. In spy lingo, shoe is a nickname for what? A walkie-talkie, a false passport, or a telephone? Double dare. It's worth 80, or you can take a physical challenge. Physical challenge. It's a false passport. We have an $80 physical challenge right down over here. <laughs> Step over in this direction. This could decide the game. Ooh. We're being attacked by flying aliens. And actually, we caught the flying saucers down here, and they are full of all this gak type substance oh yum oh okay now when i say go what you have to do is pick those up one at a time or if you want to do two at a time however you want to do it but you have to destroy this village and that means you have to knock off the turquoise the yellow the red and the blue forget the grays if you knock off the colored blocks all of them in 30 seconds or less will give you 80 dollars otherwise the lead will change on your mark get set go send them over there and
two seconds left. You now have 200, and that's the end of the game, ladies and gentlemen. With $270, Kristen and Seneca have won today's game a super sloppy double dare. Well, that's $135 a piece and a trip to the super sloppy obstacle course. Messy Maniacs, you played great. It was such an exciting game. If they would have missed, you would have won. You get $90 a piece. And Harvey, what lovely parting gift. <laughs> It's the Super Slavy Double Dare Optical Course with Kristen and Seneca. I did it. And, and a crazy audience. And, uh, and a gumdrop here. And what you're going to do is start off on the top. You're going to grab that flag. Come on all the way down. You'll pass that flag over to your partner. And you're going to win this great prize. Radioactive Soundboard by Nash. The all new soundboard is the one and only skateboard that comes with the building AFM radio. Now you can listen to your favorite tunes while you trip. Kristen jumps into the boat and goes all the way to the other side where you will find a flag, where you will pass that flag, and where you will win this. Right, Harvey? New clothes, Mark. Right you are. Fair and dedicated to providing quality and fashion for over 70 years. Available at fine stores across America. Fair boys wear clothes made to have fun in. You're in great shape. You ran from one side of the stage to the other very quickly. And uh, let's see, you get to go in one ear and out the other. So you'll go on that side. This is supposed to be me, believe it or not. I, I still don't believe that. They say it looks like me. And then you'll come out over here. Now, there's lots of earwax. It's chocolate earwax, as a matter of fact. Kristen will be waiting here patiently. She'll say, could you please hand me the flag? And you'll say, of course. And then, Harvey, you'll say you win this. It's the weatherproof. <laughs> Called valves, okay? Valves on there she blows, and if you hit the right valve, the right little uh, noise will happen, and the right flag will spit out. Now keep in mind that you must grab that flag. Who's being passed to? You're getting the flag. You're getting the flag, but you have to pass the flag, and then you have to get this. We'll figure uh, it out. <laughs> it's a new buy. A lot of new popular with a twice lightweight by Murray features 12 speeds, fully locked frame, and three-piece crank. A lot by Murray. Ride with a winner. And then it's the ringer, and you'll go through the ringer. Now, keep in mind, sometimes people forget this. We have arrows telling you which direction to point this thing in, and you just turn it this way. Push it away from yourself, and that will help your partner go on through. And as you slide down into this gack, if you take off this flag and then pass it, you'll pick up time, and you'll pick this up. It's a clarinet. LeBlanc's Vito Grand Clarinet. It's red, white, or blue. High gloss finish. Strike up the band with a clarinet from the world of LeBlanc. And in case you missed what that prize was, Harvey, could you tell them what this prize is? It's a clarinet. <laughs> I don't know why you do that. <laughs> and this is a doggy door. And what you have to do is get down on your hands and knees and actually crawl all the way through, just like this. And then you have to go. And uh, find a flag in there. And then you uh, pass it to your partner. And you go, Harvey, what's the prize? Casio MT520, boy. A 49 key electronic keyboard with 12 instrument sounds and 12 background rhythms. Features eight onboard drum pads from Casio, where miracles never cease. Any question? No. How about you? Nope. I'm so glad to hear that because this is the cage. It's number seven. You can either go through this area or you can actually open the door. The main thing is to pull on that bell, drop that flag down, and pass it on, and then win this prize. For high performance, <laughs> see a winner today and if you get to obstacle number eight which is the tank you will find jello and if you jump into that jello it's a little cold but not terribly cold where i want you to be actually is right over on the other side of this gack because this is where the flag is and if you have that flag in your hand in 60 seconds or less harvey tell them what the grand prize is This beautiful shot. That's nice. We have a man up there waiting to go through a huge gumball machine and a trip to San Diego at stake. I hope they can do it. I want them to win. Set the clock for 60 seconds. Audience, cheer them on. On your mark. Get set. Go. Put that in
my device, Super Sloppy Double Dare, and my Reebok. Every contestant on Super Sloppy Double Dare gets a free pair of Reebok sneakers. Reebok is the official shoe up. Super Sloppy Double Dare. This is your